the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Baltimore Ravens and the Philadelphia Eagles. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. going to take this ahead for right around three yards but no more than that second down not a whole lot there the defense was ready it looked for that run pass option you get the sense the next time he has that opportunity he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one huh three yards on that last carry here's second and seven Burt sets up to throw it it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Well, for a tight end, he can definitely motor, and he shows off the wheels there after the catch as he's able to shake free. Yeah, and we see this so often. There's excellent coverage down the field, so the quarterback makes a nice decision, just flip it out to the flat and see what the running back can do. Plenty of space to roam, and he turns it into a big play. And the numbers on the next-gen stats it always tells us the story. He tacked on better than 40 yards after the catch. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he is going to lose yardage here. The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time, they'll lose one or two. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. But in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Third down, now even tougher. Third and 13 after that loss of a yard. I believe I could see what they were trying to do there, but unfortunately, the back ran out of room. Too close to the sideline. And for defenders, we're often taught. 11 on the field. Those sidelines can become the 12th defender. It worked. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Cross Watkins, 29 yards. And the Eagles will jump on top of the game's first. I hope you ain't playing like that all game, my boy. Well, they said that they wanted to get him involved early, and what a way to cap their opening drive, Charles. We know he's one of the fastest receivers in the NFL, and he showcased it on that play. And when you have a guy like that, you want to make sure the defense sees him early, right? You want to see how they're going to adjust, how they're going to try and guard him because they can't replicate his speed in practice unless they've got one of the few guys who are as fast as he is. And all it took was one dry, he burned them, and I don't think it's the last time they call his number in this one. So with a missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 23. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Jackson now. Side complete. That's Andrews. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. 
And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. So they'll accept that penalty, and that'll, of course, move the football up the field. So after the penalty, now they need just a yard on second down. Inside handoff over the card. Seven yards there and a first down. They go play action now. Jackson. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down by the best linebackers he ended that play almost before it began and the running back absolutely overmatched no matter what he tried to do the sack cost him only a yard it's second and 11. Gun Jackson complete to his running back, Kenyon Drake. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 34-yard line. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now Jackson. And looking for Andrews, but this is intercepted. And the Eagles are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Oh, I saw this one with defensive eyes because even as he escaped the pocket and bought time, the coverage stayed tight. Nothing broke down. Throwing it away, that was his only option. Throwing again on second and ten. Hurts. A rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. It's Chuck Clark picking it off. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one, and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching a bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? After the interception, here's Jackson. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Kaiser Wright. And the Eagles are going to get possession of the football as time will run out on this first quarter of play. 6-0 our score after one. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one. I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, it's still in the first half here. A long way to go. On second and seven. Hurts. Throw right side. Caught by Goddard, the tight end. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. 
Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, not a there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no game. Here's Hurts to throw. That swung out wide to Sanders. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. Throwing his hurts. The Sanders has got it complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. It's a second down run with Sanders. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 44-yard line. Running right, here's Sanders. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 11 more on that one and another first down. He'll look to throw. He finds his tight end, got it. That's complete. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Dallas got it. 34 yards. As his guys are able to extend their lead. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. Elliott now to add the extra point. And he atones for his miss the first time around as this one is up and good to extend their lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. set at the line for this next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice safe throw and a good one. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Jackson. And for the 
third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by Kaiser Wright. And the Eagles will have solid field position here as they take it over.